you know, sometimes circumstances, things we see around us, the, see, the things we see happening can affect us pretty intensely, can try to throw fear on us or doubt on us, try to make us doubt God and doubt His provision and doubt His faithfulness and doubt His promises. But that's a lie, isn't it? Because God is faithful and He never fails, never has and He never will. You know, we watched this video series called uh, The Genius of God. And it's an eight-part series, and I'll, I'll get the link. I'll put it on the end of here. And I encourage you to watch every part of that series because it would just throw <laughs> every bit of doubt and fear out. And it talks about just how God created things, how He created the heavens every detail of everything, every part of life, how he created it, he orchestrated it, all the atoms, all the the things that he's placed, even in the seed, it was talking about the seed that's planted in the ground. God put everything in that little seed to make the plant, to grow for the fruit or, or the flowers or whatever. He put in it a memory in one little seed and he showed it that the root goes down into the ground for the nourishment, for the life. And the plant goes upward, breaking through the ground toward the sun. and how it basks in the sun and it grows and it draws life from the sun just as we are to do you know everything in God's creation it all points to the creator it all points to the sun the life he was talking in that video about every snowflake that God created every snowflake different. And it all, they all have six sides, but they're all different, all different shapes. And I think about all the snow that fell here. 14 inches here, and in town they say 26 inches fell, and every single snowflake was different that God created. He took such detail even in a snowflake that falls from the sky and melts or stays on the ground and then melts. Do you see what a detailed God that we have? That He cares about every little thing. You know, the birds. He feeds the birds. He cares about the birds. In that video, it was even telling about the birds and how God made their little lungs. And He made it like a bellow, in and out, you know, where they can fly long distances. And it showed the diagram. They have sets of lungs, and they, and they work uh, like a, a bellow type of thing. And it makes them be able to go long distances without getting tired. And after going miles and miles and miles and miles, they'll land and they're not in distress or huffing and puffing or anything because God created them that way. Every little thing. You know, it showed in this video about how the plants break through the ground and, and just they're moving <laughs> they're moving like this up to the sun they're reaching out to the sun and that's what the Lord wants us to do he wants our focus not to be on what's going on around us what we see 
maybe the bad things we see going on or the the changes maybe that's happening in our life that's so dramatic of changes like he is in our life he says I'll move you into a large place he has he's moved us into a large place and it's such a change in our life that God is faithful you know and if the Lord tells you to do something you step out in faith and you do it and he blesses that he blesses obedience he will bless obedience yeah you might be shaky yeah you might be fearful maybe you're just ooh, wow God you know but when we step out in faith we do it the Lord will do what he said he will do And the next time, you know, you're attacked with fear or doubt or anything, you think about the mightiness of God. You think about the mightiness of His creation. In every little detail, every little detail, every molecule, everything that He created in this earth was good. When the times we're in, we're seeing so many things in the natural realm. We're seeing so many things. God is shaking heaven and earth. He's judging. His judgments are falling on this earth. The focus and the important thing is to be right with God. To have our heart right with God. So I want to encourage you now to ask the Lord to search your heart in this hour. See if there be any wicked way in any of us. Anything that he needs to remove. The most important thing in this hour is the Lord. And doing his will and pleasing him. And everything else, as the word says, will fall in place. Seek him first. Let him be first. In everything else, all these things, the Lord says, seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the Lord. And all these things will be added unto you. What things? These things that... about food or clothing or shelter or whatever. The Lord provides for his own. But he's saying, let your focus be right. Let your focus be right in this hour. Don't let it be on what's going on around you. The fact that maybe all your bills are due and you don't have any money. Don't let that be the focus, he said. Look to me, he says. The faithful God. The one that created heaven and earth trust him today because he's faithful he's trustworthy our God is trustworthy in Jesus name